Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. This week I'll be showing you my cocoa farm. Yes, the cocoa farm that I've been working on in my uh, Let's Play series and my live streams for the last ooh, few weeks now. Um, yes, she's finally done and I think it looks really, really good. It turned out fantastically. Today I'm going to give you a tour around, show you how it works and we're going to give it a test run. So, let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Let's just run over there and... Um, yeah, I'll give you give you a quick tour around. Whoop, stuck on a vine just then. Okay, so we have got it actually hooked up to the nether portal or nether hub itself. So you can take the nether hub here or you can just run because home base is just over there. I built it in the jungle next door, which is uh, really close and um, quite good. So this is the collection area, uh, nice and simple, nothing flash and fancy. We've got a massive um, storage system at the back here, so it can store a lot, a lot of cocoa beans. And um, here we've got the actual um, chest itself, which uh, you, well, you take one out and it will replace. So pretty much it's yeah, just a massive storage system. All these chests can fill up, and then. Pretty much what happens is if you take one out, it will drain back in and yeah, so on and so on. Uh, yeah, I figured I would have something a little different in this storage system. So yeah, it's got to, got to store a lot because I'm pretty sure this farm is going to produce a ton of um, cocoa. So let's move on to the control panel area. Up we go. Okay, so we're at the control panel area right now and we've got levers here So each lever obviously controls each wing just in case for those people's computers that can't handle a massive amount of one item um, Yeah, so each wing or you can just press them all and yeah, you'd get lots. So we've got fence gates all the way around uh, Don't worry. We're not gonna fall. We're on a connected texture glass so I wanted to put a massive skylight in and we did uh, originally we had a uh, a sink bowl here, but the design kind of went out the window when we realized uh, not enough um, The hopper would not suck up all the items and we had to go for something a little different like all the hoppers around the edge But as you can see it's really simple design a waterfall of water comes down knocks all the cocoa down and eventually comes down to heat and People were concerned about the cocoa getting stuck in in the little rifts here when the when the water comes but nah that that doesn't happen test test stage it seems to all work pretty well so i think i should take you up the top just for a quick view down and as you can see i did put all the uh the grass in like i said i was going to do good old silk touch shovel did the job just fine um it does look a lot better with that grass in here originally it was dirt and i did was going for grass but it's uh yeah so we we got it up there we got it in eventually Okay, so I don't have access to the roof um, That's been removed so you don't really need access up there unless you're you're going to be fixing or Playing around I suppose but oh hello kitty. Ooh, I didn't know you made it up this far this, ooh, Look at that look at that. It's a, a pretty big view So we got a basic pistons up there holding back obviously the water and then the redstone runs along the roof all the way to the center and then in the center we've got all the redstone hidden behind that going down to the control panel really simple and awesome <laughs> hello kitty uh, whoa you just fell off oh oh you might have might have made it in the water Ooh, th th that's not good <laughs> poor poor kitty um uh, let's uh, let's head down and um let's give it a test run so there's not too much to this farm it's just Huge and some people say it looks like a giant death ray from a distance and uh, Yeah, I have to agree with them. I, I did decorate it like originally the whole thing was made out of cobblestone I did tell people I was going to give it that plank outline the uh, the the forest plank outline and I did I did do that and I think it turned out quite nice um, Yeah, it did it. Yeah, I reckon it turned out quite 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 good So let's get down and then we can give it a test fire so all the wings are the same. It took 
Each wing took, oh, I, I can't estimate because I did do a live stream. It took about four hours to do three wings, so probably an extra, I don't know how long, um, for one wing. But uh, yeah, no, it took four hours. I did, did shoot a live stream with me building each and every single wing except this one because one of the wings was in a uh, Let's Play episode. I did do a speed up of the wing build, but yeah, it was... I did do that, which was quite good, so, yeah, I, I think it really did turn out okay, I was quite worried, but, yeah. Um, oh, look, little baby kitten in a big kitten, cat. So, I think we should, uh, get this party started. So, I'm just gonna go for it, broke, and click every single button, and yes, it, the cocoa, the planting this is a pain in the backside, but... It's, it's, uh, yeah, no, it's probably what t took the longest is growing and farming all the amount of cocoa to plant the entire structure, obviously. that That's probably the most annoying bit, but let's do this. Bang, 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 bang. All right. Here we go, here it comes. This is just a massive waterfall, water gushing down like a waterfall, coming down, knocking all that cocoa, whoa, yes, my frames are dropping, whoa, it's getting a bit laggy up there, whoa, <laughs> that's why I added the three, the four switches so people had the option just to hit one wing only, whoa, sorry about the lag, guys, let's uh, head out, of, out here and check out these just going down, they're going and dancing into the hoppers. A massive storage for system sucking it all up. And we got thick, see, we got them coming off the waterfall. And as you can see, I've got the glowstone on the side of the wall because at night time, it like glows, makes the wall glow. And it gives like a nice effect. So that's what I've done with all the walls, made sure they all had glowstone on them. But as you can see, all of them are coming down, getting sucked up, which is fantastic. Let's go up here. Well, picking up a couple. So as you can see, they're not getting stuck in the riffles. They're slowly moving out out of it, but yeah. Woo! That's cool. I'm not quite sure how long it takes to empty this entire farm, but I think she's... Yeah, I think she's almost... She's done. I don't see any more cocoa coming out, do you? No. I do not. I think we have just harvest and my frames are nice and smooth again. So I think we have now just harvest all of it. So to turn it off, quite easy, same thing. Just hit all the, the levers to back in the middle. And now they're all off. So it does take quite a little bit for the water to stop from the top. It's The water comes down really quickly, but for the water to stop, it takes quite a little while. I bet that cat's like, I don't like water. <laughs> uh, I hope it's coming. But let's go up, go up, just double check and make sure this uh, wall of water is turned off. I'm pretty sure it's turned off. Why wouldn't it turn off? Yeah, no, it's, as I said, it's coming down really slowly. Very, very slowly. And I did actually do a test run in my live stream. We rode a boat from the top all the way down the bottom. Wow, you can get up up, up and down this thing quite quickly doing that. So as you can see, the, the water is slowly going away. Very slowly because there's just a lot going on in Minecraft right now. It's taking its sweet time. So eventually, yep, see, the water will recede and, yeah, it's stopped. So, And then you can go and replant it all. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> So it is getting dark, and you're probably just about to see these walls get lit up nicely. Let's go down. We could probably just jump really fast down, because there's water here, and we can't hurt ourselves. So splash, splash, splash. Fantastic. We go downstairs. And all that should be nice and stored up now. See, it's going in very slowly. It's going to take a little while for it to fill up. So, yeah, each one of these chests will just, yeah, it would be quite boost up. But I think, I'm not quite sure exactly how much I've got from this farm. But, yeah, no, because I, I don't have any fancy light indicators to say, hey, this is almost full or anything else. 
Um, yeah, normally you would stand in like a middle of a room and collect them all and you'd get a whole inventory full or something. So I would say a couple of inventory fulls at least. This is slowly filling up, but this will be full and I'm going to have a nice time replanting the whole thing. <laughs> it's going to be crazy, but the farm did turn out quite well. Um, yes, so as you can see, it is night time currently. And the glowstone is doing its job. It's glowing the walls like I wanted it to, which is fantastic. So, um, this is yeah, this is pretty much it. Pretty basic farm. Um, I have updated the world save so you guys can go grab this world now and give it a download and come play with this yourself. I'm gonna replant it before uploading the the world, obviously, because uh, you know you guys will be less like. What the hell, Data? I wanted to press the button and all this, so I'll replant the entire machine and make sure it's all planted for you guys and all grown for you guys to come grab and download yourself. But um, yeah, and that's the view from night time. So yeah, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, um, and I'll catch you all later.